Welcome back to Midday Kentucky, everyone. Well, it's true that technology plays a large role in surgery, especially cosmetic and plastic surgery. Recently, I visited Dr. Jared Nims from Commonwealth Plastic Surgery just to see how digital face mapping can help you see exactly what you're looking for. And I did it on myself so, before I decided to go under the knife. Take a look, everyone. So, Dr. Jared, we've taken the before shots here of what most patients would do when they come in when considering plastic surgery. What's the next step? So the next step is we, we take that image and then we would change it in whatever way that we need to to show you what uh, effects that surgery would have. Okay. So you and I have already talked about off camera that mm -hmm. I'd like to have my eyes done and mm -hmm. also my neck. Sh explain to everyone what your assistant is doing here for you now. So you can see she's working on the left eye and uh, what she's doing is raising up your eyebrow and raising up your upper eyelid to show you what effect an upper blepharoplasty and a brow lift would have. That would get rid of that excess skin there and that would give you a younger appearance. Oh, well, we like that. Yeah. Now, when you start talking about that, this is upper and lower, so she's working on the right eye now. Mm -hmm. when when you see this sort of surgery getting done like this, is it almost accurate when you do it yourself? We try to make it as accurate as possible because this, this can be a two-edged sword. If we make it too nice, then people are expecting, you know, right, they, expecting they expect miracles. a little too much. <laughs> so I try to make it as accurate as possible so that they have a realistic uh, idea about about There's, what will happen. Well, I have to say to you already, just on those eyes, I do look a lo lot younger. Well, you do. Yes, yeah. I do. That's I'm, I'm booking in. <laughs> um, okay, so let's talk about my neck. And that's not hereditary. That's just because I like a little too much Chick-fil-A. All right. Okay. Well, you can see right now she is moving that image in such a way that it would take off the appearance of a little bit of that, um, a little bit of that tissue, making mm. things a little more refined. Um, that would be a good example of what a liposuction to the neck would do. Really? Mm. So is this a great example? Can you also, you did side profile on me as well, the before mm. shots, and we're going to show everyone our before and afters mm. towards the end of the segment. But I'm noticing when she changes the side of my face, could someone, can you completely reshape someone's face with cos plastic surgery on here? You can. It, the question is, what uh, amount of surgery mm. would you need to do in order to achieve those goals? And so, uh, sure, you can make anybody have uh, larger jowls, smaller wow. chin, larger chin, whatever it is that you want to do. It's just what is it going to take in the operating room to do that? Okay. And is this something you just do, this technology on the face? No. This is something that we routinely do for tummy tuck patients, for Ooh. breast augmentation patients, for liposuction, and so forth. Well, I hope you're not expecting me to strip down and show everyone my fabulous 12 abs. Because <laughs> it ain't going to happen. All right. Maybe, maybe not today. Um, when patients see this, is this the deal maker? For when, a, when a guy or a gal sits here and they go, oh my gosh, this is it. For a lot of people, this helps to visualize because before this, they may not have a concept for what the surgery is actually going to do for them. So yeah, yeah this, this does help them to create an image in their mind. And often people will even take a picture and take it home to their spouse and say, look, this is what's going to happen and, and so forth. So if I wanted to have a chin implant and make my chin longer, mm -hmm. you can show someone on here. Right. That's yep. amazing. Yeah, and we would just... Uh, Mary, my uh, nurse here, would take that chin and move it forward, or as she's doing right now, she would uh, take that uh, tissue down on the bottom of your neck and, and reduce it like you would for a liposuction. Well, all I can say is, book it in, Doc. All right. Very good. <laughs> Hey, I have to tell you, everyone's in the studio, we're just showing everyone here the before and afters of that. I think it is absolutely amazing. If you want to find out more information, we're going to put it all up on the screen now as well. But of course, before we get to that, Commonwealth Plastic Surgery has an, a great money-saving promotion just for all our Midday Kentucky viewers. It's $1,000 off full facial treatment with Kybella and Botox, subject, of course, to standard consultations. Good for appointments before or on August 31, 2017. The treatment's through all the way through to November 30. Um, it is the best thing to have, everyone. We'll be right back after this short break.